As part of the BBB Wise Giving Alliance Building Trust Series, we're here with Michelle DeLon, COO of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Michelle, most people will be familiar with the work of the National Center, but tell us about your mission and how you help American families. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children was created in 1984 on the heels of several tragedies of child abductions. We work really closely with families of missing children to try to rescue them and recover them and also work with families to try to prevent child sexual exploitation. Tell us a little bit about the agencies and other organizations that you partner with in order to achieve your mission. We work obviously very closely with families, but we also assist law enforcement in the search for missing children as well as the prevention of child sexual exploitation. And we also work really closely with educators to try to provide them with information and uh, talking points and safety programs that they can use to really teach children how to be safer both online and offline. What does accreditation with the BBB Wise Giving Alliance mean to your organization? It's very important with the accreditation that we're able to let the public know that not only do we operate by the sound principles of good nonprofits, but that their money is going to a good cause that we are able to share with them the results. Because of the sensitive nature of the work you do, donors and supporters must be confident that you're trustworthy. How do you go about assuring that? Confidence really comes from communication and transparency. I'm making sure that the donors understand where it is their money is going, how it is that we're utilizing it in our programs. We have programs that search for thousands of missing children every year. We operate a cyber tip line, which is a reporting mechanism for people to report sexual exploitation of children that takes in millions of reports each year. We're tracking attempted abductions uh, across the United States to provide information into communities to keep those children safer. Communicating what it is we're doing uh, with the donations, the programs that they're being used for, as well as the lives that are being touched and the children that are being found, that's the key, transparency and communication. The National Center has done a remarkable job creating visibility. How have you done that? As a private-public partnership, we work closely with a lot of uh, private companies that have a lot of resources to bring to bear in the search for children. We're able to distribute photographs of missing children into hundreds of thousands of homes each week, as well as digitally online through social mediums such as Facebook, Amber Alerts. Engaging the public, making them the eyes and the ears, will really bring missing children home. 